Um, this evening I'm going to talk about my experience in K through 12, kindergarten through 12th grade public school in Detroit, Michigan. Um, I spent my whole life here. I was born here in Samaritan Hospital. Um, and I'm going to talk about all the things that happened during K through 12, uh, education wise and about friends. Um, when I was in kindergarten, everything went well. Um, I was in kindergarten with my cousin Curtis. Um, and I had a good time. I had some good experiences in there. Um, Then I progressed on, and my uh, I was getting good grades, and I was in the smart kids class, so that was good because there is special education for kids who have learning disabilities. But I was in the smart kids class, and I was at McCullough Elementary, and that is kindergarten through fifth grade. So we had parties, and we had good times and bad times growing up together. And there were some handsome boys who I really liked. And I would tell my bestie Lucille about all of these boys that I liked. And, uh, you know, um, then we had graduation. You know, I don't have really too many complaints about McCullough. McCullough was a pretty good school. Some bad things happened, but it was mostly good. Um, then I went on to Longfellow Middle School. Now, Longfellow Middle School had a bad, bad reputation. Instead of me testing to go to the better middle schools like Halley and uh, uh, some, some of the other schools, I, I went straight to Longfellow. That's where my brother went, so that's where I went. Um, and kids would get beat up every day. You know, they'd be smoking in the hallway. Um, girls would be on their period and smelling bad. You know, it was just a rough environment. But as we progressed, things got easier. Um, they had a good music education program. Um, and they had good textbooks. They were kind of torn up, but the textbooks were good textbooks. Um, and good teachers who cared. So they really put their best foot forward. Um, so I played clarinet and saxophone, and in McCullough, I played viola. Um, so we had our graduation in, um, Longfellow. I made it through with some bumps in the road and some unexpected surprises, good and bad. Um, but... <clears throat> Uh, I really met a lot of good people in McCullough and Longfellow. I'm not in contact with any of them, but I'm sure they remember me just the same way as I remember them fondly. And hopefully uh, we'll meet again soon in the future as professionals. Um, so we had our graduation and we said our goodbye. Some people went to Cass, some people went to Murray Wright, some people went to Cooley, some people went to Renaissance. I went to Central, okay, because that's where my brother went. So I like Central. I like the way he personified Central. So I went there. But when I got there, there were some really, 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 really large, handsome students there. They'd be blowing smoke in the hall. Um, it looked like they really didn't go to class. I don't know. You know, it was just... You know, I'd be holding myself like this walking through the walking through the hallway, you know, because I'm like, I'm so small compared to them, you know. Um, and things were, you know, it was a new experience for me because I wasn't used to being around people that big. Um, the seniors and the juniors and stuff like that. Um... 
So I met some good people. I met some bad people. Um, I was in the marching band. I was in the community service club. I was a cheerleader briefly, and I was a pom-pom girl briefly. Um, but I couldn't be in all of that and be in the marching band because marching band was demanding. Um, so, uh, I graduated from Central. I learned a lot. I skipped school a lot. I'm not going to lie. I skipped because I stopped learning. The teacher, I felt that the teachers weren't teaching me. You know, I, fe I felt that they just stopped right there, put a halt on it. I don't know why. Maybe I'm paranoid, but that's what I felt. So I started skipping school, going to the mall, going to the Renaissance building, going here, going there. And I, I still graduated on time. I was able to get some decent grades, you know, considering how much I skipped. But I really started skipping school in middle school when I felt I wasn't learning enough. Like it was a good curriculum, but I felt I wasn't I wasn't learning enough. I probably should have went to another school. And as a matter of fact, um Henry Ford Henry Ford High School tried to get me to come to them. I was on the waiting list and after about two years when I was a junior in Central, they tried to get me to come to them. They had accepted me. But by then I was comfortable at Central and it was right around the corner from a house so I said I'll stay at Central so we had our graduation I missed my prom because I thought I was gonna fail but I graduated on time and um we had a good time you know um now Central is Central Collegiate Academy of some I don't know, but they changed it and remodeled, and Central isn't the same school anymore. I'm not hearing any bad reports about it like I did when I was coming up, and I suppose it's not as rough. They have a, a organization that comes in to fix the school system, so I suppose they have fixed the school system, um, and I hear they're doing well. So McCullough is closed. And Longfellow's closed, but Central is still open. And Central is the oldest school in the city. It looks like a castle, but it's a high school. So, yep, that's my K-12 through experience here in Detroit, Michigan. And um, I would say you can learn a lot if you will put your mind to it there. Um, So, yep, bye-bye.